Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another one of the PACAC Virtual College Exploration Fairs uh, introductions to um, one of the, our partner institutions. And I'm very excited today to introduce you to Mr. Albert Brown from Esperanza College, um, which I've just learned a whole lot about, and he is excited to present it to you as well. Um, I do wanna remind participants that your microphones and your videos are off. So if you do have questions, uh, please enter them in the Q&A uh, so that he will be able to respond to you. Um, and then at the end of this presentation, uh, there will be a survey with just four questions, but we really will appreciate you completing that. Um, and without further ado, I'm going to turn things over. I know you'll be excited to hear about Esperanza and, and Esperanza. Enjoy the presentation, everybody, and thank you again. And thank you for that introduction. Uh, again, my name is Albert Brown, and I'm the Director of, of Admissions and Marketing at Esperanza College of Eastern University. Uh, so Esperanza College is actually a, uh, a branch campus of Eastern University, which has its main campus in St. Davis, Pennsylvania. Um, Esperanza College uh, is located in North Philadelphia off the main arteries of Roosevelt Boulevard and Schuylkill Expressway, uh, minutes away from the Schuylkill. Um, one of the, I'm sorry, you're- Just went on. So I'm you sorry, you were okay. muted, you were muted, I couldn't hear you. Okay, are you out, your mute was on there for a brief second. Are you okay now? Can you hear me? Yes, I can, you're in good shape. Thank you very uh, much. Thank you for, I'll start over. <laughs> thank you. Um, for those of you that couldn't hear me, my name is Albert Brown. Uh, apologize for that little technicality. I'm the Director of Admissions and Marketing at Esperanza College. Um, Esperanza College is a branch campus of Eastern University. Um, Eastern University's main campus is located in St. David's, Pennsylvania. It is a, a private university, faith-based university, Christian university, um, that will allow students not only to earn a undergraduate degree, but you can continue all the way up to your uh, doctorate degree at the main campus. What the branch campus of Esperanza offers is a start on that journey to earning a four-year degree. Most of our degrees are two-year uh, associate degrees, and it allows you to have a direct pathway uh, to the main campus of Eastern University. One of the advantages of attending Esperanza College over going directly to Eastern is we offer something unique uh, to our campus only called the Esperanza Grant. That grant cuts 50% of the tuition, uh, in, uh, which literally cuts the tuition in half, and so you're receiving the same education that you would at the main campus of Eastern, but for 50% off. In addition to that, when you graduate with an associate's degree from Esperanza, uh, you can continue seamlessly right on Eastern's main campus to get your four-year degree. And because you graduated from, East, uh, from Esperanza, going to Eastern, um, you get a 20% alumni discount uh, to finish your last two years at the main campus of Eastern University. So there's two great things about our campus that you, uh, is uniquely offered. One, you get 50% off uh, the first two years in pursuing your associate's degree. And then two, when you graduate, if you decide to continue to Eastern University as an alum of Esperanza, you get 20% off uh, your tuition until you graduate to achieve your bachelor's degree. So that's a, a cool thing about our relationship with Eastern University uh, is that you get discounts that you would not normally get uh, if you attended the main campus. Now, what I have for you is a video. Um, it begins with a virtual tour. Um, that tour will show you some of our, our key spaces uh, within our learning community. And then after the tour, um, you'll be hearing a presentation from our admissions department and then at the end, um, I'll be around to answer uh, any questions you have and to talk about a few other details uh, concerning the college. So let's begin with the virtual tour. Uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Welcome to the Esperanza College at Eastern University virtual tour. 
Join Beaker on his journey to Esperanza College, a branch campus of Eastern University. Begin your first two years locally and then easily transfer to Eastern University to further pursue your bachelor's. Conveniently located in North Philly, Esperanza is easily accessed by car or public transportation. As our mission and values are to support the community with education, immigration, housing, and career services, your pathway to success starts here. Your journey begins at the Esperanza check-in desk where you will be led to the Esperanza College on the third floor. We encourage collaboration to enhance the knowledge, skills, and outlook of our students. Through integrated learning, we aspire to encourage you to pursue a more thoughtful, positive, productive, and purposeful education. Along with a wide array of scientific lab projects, you'll be prepared with the introductory skills to pursue a STEM career of any kind. The Media Labs at Esperanza and our state-of-the-art TV studio offers top-of-the-line equipment for skill building, class projects, and digital production pieces. Our media programs offer special assignments that allow students to participate as technical and production assistants in professional theater productions through the Esperanza Arts Center. Thanks for joining our virtual tour. For more information on applying or taking a one-on-one -on -one personal tour of Esperanza College, please reach out to ecinfo at eastern.edu or visit our website, esperanza.eastern.edu. Thank you so much for joining us today, um, allowing us the opportunity to tell you a little bit of who Esperanza College of Eastern University is and what it is that we have to offer. Okay, so. Esperanza College started a little over 20 years ago, um, where the Cortez brothers here to the left had a tug of the heart because they wanted to give back and provide back to their community. Up top, you see Eastern University campus. At the bottom, you'll see uh, the Esperanza College campus. Back then, 20 years ago or so, um, they had a tug of the heart because they wanted to provide uh, resources to the community. Um, quality education, you know, other resources like immigration services, housing, and et cetera. And so we are one big family who offers um, so much to our community. But today we're going to discuss our campus. So the first question is, what is your goal? You should ask yourself, do you understand the difference between what is a step, what is a goal, and what is a dream? and everyone's perception as to what that is, is different. I can tell you right now, you sitting and listening to us um, uh, discuss what it is that we have to offer and who Esperanza is, that's a step right there. That's one step closer to applying and possibly getting accepted. That would be a goal. Maybe your goal could be completing your associate's degree. So, when you have an opportunity, take some time to think about that. Ask yourself, what are your steps? What steps are you taking right now? Um, what goals uh, do you have in mind? What are your dreams? In our next slide, we're going to talk about how education pays. If you look at the graph at the top, it says less than a high school diploma. So for those with less than a high school diploma, on the left side, you see the unemployment rate essentially stating uh, those that are jobless. If you go and, and you go towards the bottom and you look at the associate's degree, the bachelor's degree and so forth, the graph on the right side in green goes higher because education truly does pay. And you see on the left, it's less unemployment rate. Um, so essentially, this creates the opportunity for you uh, to have financial freedom uh, because there is certainly knowledge um, there's power in knowledge and obtaining your uh, associate's degree would allow you to create that financial freedom in terms of choosing uh, what you want to do in the future with your career you know your dream home uh, your dream car or maybe that dream business that you want to create all right so your next chapter at Esperanza college um it's going to look a little bit like this and we're going to go into the highlights of Esperanza College. 
So uh, to be clear, we are a very inclusive uh, college. Whether you're coming right out of high school or you um, are an older student looking to go back to school, we uh, certainly meet you in whatever stage in life you're in. We are a two and four year college where you would start with your associate's degree and you would transition into a four year a bachelor's degree with Easter. So as mentioned before, we are Esperanza College of Eastern University. So your degree, your email, um, your student credentials, everything would be through Eastern University. When you apply and get accepted, all of your classes are mapped out. So you don't have to be concerned with which courses should be you should be registered with in the first or second semester. You have a dedicated advisor that's with you every step of the way to ensure that all of your courses are mapped out. And so once you let us know, hey, this is what I want to pursue, uh, whether it be a criminal justice uh, program or it would be early childhood education or the health sciences program, we're able to map those classes out for you so you have no worries on trying to figure out which classes to register for. Uh, we offer on-site tutoring. Once the building opens up and the pandemic subsides, we will definitely offer on-site tutoring. We also offer online tutoring 24-7. So right from your home, at the comfort of, of being at home in your pajamas or a bowl of cereal, you're able to schedule that one-on-one, -on -one, um, private one-on-one -on -one with a tutor so they can assist you, whether it be with math, whether it be with writing or chemistry. Uh, it is 24 hours a day because we understand that the importance of uh, that extra assistance that you need and that extra support and uh, being able to balance that and do it from home. We also offer a very supportive uh, structure in terms of the class size. So there's one professor for every 16 students and sometimes the classes are even smaller. And this is a, a great thing because it allows the professor to provide an individualized attention to you as a student. So in the next slide, we're going to discuss balance. Balance is extremely essential in life. We understand that coming out of high school, you want to work, you want to make some money, and you also want to be able to balance your personal life and still be able to balance your academic journey, which is important. So we offer and allow you the opportunity to somewhat you know, customize your schedule. So school is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. You can choose to come, let's say, um, in the mornings on Mondays, and then um, six to 10 at night on the other two days. So it is available four days a week, Monday through Thursday, but school is only three days a week. And you can choose for each day whether you wanna come in the morning or in the evening. All right, in our next set of slides, um, we have our colleague, my colleague here, um, the admissions counselor, Michael Gaskins, who's gonna discuss all the different academic programs and what it is that they have to offer. Thank you, Mr. Roman, and hello, everyone. Again, I will be discussing the academic programs we have at Esperanza College of Eastern University. First up, we have our business administration major. So what are some of the careers that you can actually uh, jump into with that degree? Uh, if you're interested in owning your own small business or working within the corporate structure, you can end up being in management, nonprofit management, operations, a social entrepreneur, and there are plenty of administrative positions that you can pursue with that degree. Additionally, we will be starting an esports club coming up in the spring of 2021, and we'll be launching a new esports program under the business administration, teaching folks the business of esports coming up in the fall of 2021. So we're really excited about that new program. Next up is community and human services. What are some careers tracks with that um, degree? You have psychology, social work, human services, nonprofit administration, and community development. This is a major where it prepares you to work with people in the community to be able to provide those folks um, the resources and skills that they need to move from one level to the next. Criminal justice. Uh, what are the careers involved with that type of degree? That's all law enforcement. That's police, parole, probation officers, state troopers. It also includes administration, court staff, local and state government positions. And that's all of your, um, your governors, your mayors, and so forth. So all of those positions, state senators, 
And the great thing about not only just our criminal justice program, but then all of our programs that I'm going to talk to you about, we have professionals who worked in those fields for many years or recently retired from those fields. So we have people who have hands-on experience facilitating and teaching all of our classes. Digital Communications and Media and Technology is another program that we have. It's a great program. Um, so what are some of the careers involved in that type of degree? You can pursue a career as a film and video editor, broadcast engineer, web design, digital content specialist, mobile app developer, content manager, communications consultant, and social media specialist. The other great thing about this program, we have brand new computers, brand new laptops. We have brand new uh, cameras. We have a brand new podcast equipment for those people who are interested in creating their own podcast, uh, a brand new state-of-the-art television studio. And we also have a theater that's a part of uh, our Esperanza family that we do a lot of uh, partnership programs and uh, videos with to basically uh, promote the theater and then also promote what we're doing at the college. So all of that is available to you through this major. Early childhood education was involved with that. Teacher, teaching assistant, child care center worker or director, and then child development associate. Now we move into health sciences. What are some of the careers that you can actually um, go into with this type of degree? Well, there's nursing, pre-med, medical professions, and surgeons. All of our students are able to play and to work with models, such as the one you see on the screen. Uh, we have skeletons, we have DNA and um, atom um, little modules that you can break apart and see how they look on the inside and how they, how they work. Additionally, we have something that's called an automage table, which is a table that shows the 3D rendering of uh, a baby in several stages of life for uh, a person, uh, from uh, childhood all the way up to adulthood, where you can actually see the internal organs of that person and see how the body works. So it's a great piece of machinery. It's about, uh, about $70,000, and we're one of two colleges in the state of Pennsylvania with that table. So it's a great piece of uh, equipment to teach our students on everything health sciences. Next is medical assisting. This is one of our popular programs. So medical assistant, they perform critical, clinical, and administrative tasks. Our program prepares students to enter nursing school to become a registered nurse. And once all of that's done and you have your degree, medical assistants can work in public, private, and military hospitals. And finally, we have natural sciences. What are the professions that are associated with that? We have occupational therapy, physical therapy, careers in medicine, pharmaceuticals, environmental sciences, research chemist, and science writer. You see Dr. Nilsa Gossiani. Um, she is our program director. She's working with the students using the beaker there. She was a chemist, and she comes with all of those years of experience being able to teach the students there everything about natural sciences. So moving forward, what do you need to do as a student getting ready to look into moving forward with your plans for college? Well, you need to complete your FAFSA. So that's the free application for federal student aid. And you can find that at www.fafsa.gov. And you want to use the Eastern University code for us, which is 003259. So the application um, portal has already opened and it will be open until May 1st. So it's very important for you to jump on to filling out your FAFSA because that's one of the ways you can pay for college. Uh, as you fill out your FAFSA, you will know which grants, loans, and uh, other monies are available to you. So let's talk about grants. So grants are money given to you. So there's the Esperanza College Grant. We'll talk a little bit more about that in the next slide, but that's available. Not, not through FAFSA, but through us. Through FAFSA, you can look and see if you're eligible for a Pell Grant or a FIA Grant. Loans are money borrowed and returned with interest. So that's Stafford loans, and you also have subsidized and unsubsidized loans. Scholarships, that's money awarded for achievement and or meeting the qualifications. So you can get scholarships from companies, banks, uh, sororities, um, from individuals, so many different uh, avenues of where you can find scholarships. It just requires some research and some work on your end. 
And then the International Student Scholarship is something that we have at Esperanza College for all undocumented uh, people who are looking to go into school. So that's something that we have. Work study, that's government funded on campus jobs. So if you can uh, get that, you can end up working in one of our various departments, such as financial aid or within admissions. You can also end up working with uh, some of the program directors there at Esperanza College. Specifically, uh, just to give you an example, we have a uh, work study student who works in the uh, technology department, and he basically works with the program director, Dr. David Hurtado, in creating videos and uh, creating uh, content for our YouTube channel. So as a work study student, you work anywhere from 10 hours to 20 hours a week, and you can use that money once you're paid to sew that back into paying your tuition. Again, Esperanza College is affordable. Our founders made sure that it's very affordable for folks who are looking to go to college, to go to that next level and to be able to change their life circumstances. So this grant covers 50% of your tuition. So uh, if you think of it, that's a great thing to happen. So you don't really have that um, with too many colleges that I'm aware of. So it's truly a blessing and another way that Esperanza College really reaches back into the community to help others find their ways in life. Student Success Hub is another thing that we offer to our students. Uh, the goal of the hub is to provide free programs and services for our students to be able to reach their fullest academic potential by providing academic career and transfer advising, peer and professional tutoring, academic coaching, and seminars on academic success. So finally, this is what we need for you to do. If you're interested in Esperanza College, please apply today. We need for you to complete the free application. You can go to our website, which is www.esperanza.eastern.edu. Fill out the free application. We also need for you to take the AccuPlace or entrance exam. So that's our math and writing test. So there's no path or pass or fail. It's just more or less to see where you are in those subjects and to be able to better place you. The only recommendation or rather requirement for Esperanza College for its new students is that you have a 2.0. We don't ask for their SATs or any standardized tests. Uh, we don't need any essays or any referrals. Again, just a 2.0 and for you to actually take our AccuPlace or entrance exam. Additionally, we need for you to supply us with your high school transcript. And if you're uh, a college student that's transferring, we'll need your college transcript as well. So we need those for our files. And finally, again, please remember to fill out your FAFSA and using the code 003259. So we would love to have you as a part of our family. Please apply today. The fall semester is, is coming up on us. The application deadline is June of next year and classes begin August of next year. So again, we would love to have you as part of our family. Thank you so much. Thank you uh, for the opportunity to um, introduce you to Esperanza College. I wanna, you, you received a lot of information from the video and um, I'm sure that uh, there may be some questions out there uh, regarding Esperanza and, and the programs that we offer. And I would love to give you the opportunity uh, to ask any questions in our Q&A uh, chat uh, feature here. Um, so if you have any questions, I'll just give you a few minutes to, uh, to put some out there. I'll be glad to answer them. And while you're doing that, there's just a couple of things I would love to emphasize. Um, as you heard throughout the presentation, uh, we have four uh, academic divisions um, at Esperanza College, uh, beginning with business, um, and that would be business administration, uh, which is an associate's degree uh, in business administration. We also have a STEM program that features um, health sciences, natural sciences, as well as medical assisting. And we have public and human services, uh, which covers um, uh, early childhood education, uh, community and uh, public services, such as social work, um, community development, and any other uh, type of human services. 
And we also have communi uh, communication, media, and technology, uh, which covers uh, digital marketing, web design, app design, uh, the whole list of videography, um, audio engineering, et cetera. And so um, those are the four main divisions in our academic programs. Um, we do also offer two non-academic programs as well. And one of them is CDA, uh, which is for uh, Child Care uh, Center Certification, uh, which is a nine credit program um, that will allow you to earn that certification. And we are rolling out for the first time in 2021, a director's uh, certification program for anyone that wants to be a director of a child care facility. Again, both of those programs are non-degree uh, programs and it offers you a certification um, in the state of Pennsylvania. So I wanted to uh, emphasize that. I also wanted to just talk about the qualifications to get accepted into Esperanza. Uh, not your um, uh, conventional standards, I'm sure, uh, as you heard the end part of that video. Um, we do not look at SAT scores or, or ACT scores, not required. However, if you have them, we welcome uh, you to share your scores with us. But we require a 2.0 GPA uh, from your high school, uh, four years in high school, on your high school transcript. Um, we do require that you take what is called an Accuplacer test um, to see where you score, and certain scores will either um, remove you from, from taking what are called bridge classes, and bridge classes are uh, classes that are designed to increase your skill set in the areas of math and writing. So if you score below a certain point in math on the Accuplacer, or you score below a certain point in writing, you would have to take a seven day uh, bridge course in preparation uh, for you to get ready for the semester. Normally those bridge classes happen a couple of weeks before the semester begins. It's not something that you'll have to take during the semester. Um, so those really are the requirements uh, for you to get in. And um, again, uh, we offer the uh, Esperanza grant, which was mentioned, um, which is 50% off your tuition for the first two years uh, on our campus. And we offer online tutoring uh, 24 hours uh, a day through tutoring.com, which is at no additional expense to you. And then lastly, uh, because we serve the Hispanic community in North Philadelphia primarily, uh, we offer bri uh, bilingual support uh, for the first year. So for the first year, you can take classes with a Spanish speaking professor. Um, your, your textbooks and the curriculum will be in English, but you'll have the support of taking it with uh, the class in Spanish with a Spanish speaking professor for the first year. And that is a, uh, a special service that we offer because of our location in North Philadelphia. And so I'm gonna stop here because you have enough information um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I'm available. And uh, if not, then I appreciate your time. And um, I will say this one last thing, that we do have an open house coming up on November 18th. Um, there's a morning session at 10 a.m. And there's an evening session at 6 p.m. And I'll make sure that you guys have access to a link to register for that. So I'm just gonna open the floor up for any questions that you might have. I haven't seen any questions come in, um, oh. but, uh, but if you do, uh, folks who are in attendance, if you do have questions, the good news for you is that you can review this recording at www.pacact.org backslash virtual. Um, and if you have questions at that time after watching it, you can reach right out to Mr. Brown. I am sure he would be, he would welcome any questions you might have. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning, there will be a four question survey once I close this webinar. And we really do appreciate your feedback for that. Um, and Mr. Brown, on behalf of PACAC, thank you so much for sharing your information um, about Esperanza and, uh, and good luck, uh, stay healthy. And thank you. thank you so much for participating. Everybody, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Take care. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you.